Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for watching. Today, very highly requested video coming your way. This is all of the hair products that I use that can like kind of stretch my hair in between washes. Um, we're going to talk about hair training, favorite texture sprays, all of that good stuff. I actually have shared a hair care video before um, where I talked about like shampoos and conditioners and hair oils and um, like heat protectants. I will cover some more of those in this video. Um, but all of that is in a different video that I will link right here for you guys. So, and it is pretty long, but I explained kind of like hair washing and the shampoos I use and kind of why I change up my shampoos and all that good stuff. So definitely check that video out. But We are going to cover today all of the good things on how to make your hair look really good and go longer in between washes. If you are new here, make sure to go below and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you guys join my YouTube family. Um, and if you are watching this and at any point in time I reference being pregnant and you know I am not pregnant currently, it is because I am pre-filming this for my maternity eternity leave. So we have a lot to talk about. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I want to start out out the gate, answer the like top ass hair questions. Um, anytime I talk about my hair, I always get the number one is, is your hair dyed? Do you color it? Do you color enhance it? No to everything. This is my natural color and I am crossing my fingers and toes that that little boy comes out of me with the exact same hair color. <laughs> my husband really wants him to come out with like brown hair like him, but I'm like, no, I want a little redhead. So we'll see. You probably know by now if you're watching this what color his hair is, but I'm really hoping red. I don't add any enhancers to it. Um, it does, just like everybody else's hair, get lighter in the spring and summertime because I spend more time outside, especially last summer. Um, I feel like my hair looked very, very bright red last summer because I was out every day walking and working out outside. I just loved being outdoors. And like now it's darker because we're just now starting to get spring weather. So it's darker right now, but it will continue to get lighter again. So I don't know if there's any truth to this, but I've been told or read somewhere before that redheads on average have less like hair follicles on their hair and like the actual amount of hair they have on their hair is less, but that our hair strands are thicker. I don't know if there is any truth to that, but I can tell you I have a lot of hair and like people will be like, oh yeah, me too. And I'm like, no, nope, sis, no, feel my hair. And then they'll feel mine. And they're like, oh, 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 you have so much hair. So a lot of hair here, no extensions. Um, yeah, I think those are like my two top two most asked questions. I also have very oily hair. Um, it has taken a very, 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 very long time to kind of get my hair to a really good place. I've said before that um, I'm kind of able sometimes now to get my hair to go like a week between washes. I don't do that all the time, only on occasion. I would love to be able to do it all the time, but sometimes it's just not feasible. We'll talk about that in a later part of the video, but I actually have been able to do that for about a year probably. It probably was last month. March or April when I really was able to start making my hair go sometimes a week between washes but most of the time I do still stick to my true wash schedule of Sunday and Wednesday yeah I think that's pretty much all of the questions that I do have um, I get pretty frequently but if you have any more do just leave them below. Hair training is the first thing that I actually wanted to talk about because it's one of the questions that I get a ton on Instagram. It's just how did you do it? And I'm going to be very honest with you. It is not fun. It is not easy. It is a not miserable because like, come on, really, like there are worse things going on in the world than hair training, but it is just not fun to train your hair. And it's exactly like it sounds. You are training your hair to basically go longer between washes. And so over time it will get less and less oily. What I decided to do when I started training my hair was I said Sundays and Wednesdays. I'm gonna wash my hair on Sundays and Wednesdays. And that's gonna be that. I was fortunate enough to start training my hair <laughs> during quarantine in 2020 when we all went on lockdown, like March 2020 was when I first started. And I was like, you know what, I'm home. Let's do it. Let's let's train this hair. And it's all you really can do is just wait. So I will wash my hair either late Saturday night or usually it's Sunday morning. I will style it. I find that blow drying it often does make it last longer in between washes than letting it air dry. Um, that's just my personal experience. I will style it for the day and then I will not wash it again until Wednesday morning. I will talk about the process of how you use dry shampoo similar to deodorant, but the main takeaway is you're just gonna have to not wash your hair. I got real good at doing like 
messy buns. Um, when we did go back into the office, like chic low buns. Um, if you can wear a hat, hats are great. Um, braids, did lots of braids because although I was using dry shampoo, my hair was still just oily. It wasn't used to it. So I would say it took about three months of being really consistent and just knowing, okay, you're washing your hair on Sunday, you're washing your hair on Wednesday. Before my hair finally caught up and was like, okay, we're gonna back off a little bit with the oil. I do get asked a lot because you guys know at least prior to working out, I mean, I worked out so much and a lot outdoors prior to getting pregnant. And some of you guys have asked me before, like how do you handle your hair after a really sweaty workout? So full disclosure, I am one of those people that you're probably gonna hate. I actually don't sweat a ton in my hair, which does help. But when I do, what I have found, like I always used to sweat really bad when I would do Orange Theory. What I found helped was I would take the round brush attachment on my Dyson Airwrap and I would just kind of go around the roots all around my head. I would like start at the underneath and just go all the way around. And I would just kind of blow my roots up and that would kind of give me more volume, but it also would really dry down some of that just nastiness. And I know that that's not some people's favorite, but again, when you train your hair a little bit more, it is gonna produce less oil. Um, but yeah, it, it just, I would go around with the blow dryer and then a lot of dry shampoo. <laughs> so those are kind of my tips and tricks for hair training. It, it, it just is something you just gotta do. You just have to pick two days and say, okay, I'm only gonna wash my hair on these two days and then just really get creative in between that time. All right, dry shampoos. So like I said in the beginning part of the video, you're gonna wanna use dry shampoo like deodorant. This is going to make the biggest difference in your hair. And this is something I actually learned from Living Proof. So you are going to style your hair. Um, usually it does work best in the morning. If that's not feasible with your time frame, you can definitely like wash. I just recommend washing and actually drying your hair at nighttime. Get up the next morning, style it. You're gonna go the full day with your hair as is. I, at least this is what I do. The very first night, so washed, dried, styled, Sunday morning. I go all Sunday with my hair just perfect. Sunday night, before I get into bed, you are going to take your dry shampoo, spray it in the roots like normal, and it is actually going to clean your scalp. That is going to prevent the sweat from dirtying up your hair. If you get up the next day and you do notice that you need a little bit of dry shampoo in that hair, you definitely can, but I find that when I spray the bulk of my dry shampoo in my hair on Sunday night, I am usually good. I usually don't need to spray anything on my hair on Monday. I will be getting ready to get in bed Monday evening. Most of the time, again, just because I have trained my hair for so long, I sometimes will need, like if I was out that day, if I was doing something that made me really sweaty, um, I will need a little bit more of a spritz, so I'll spray my hair again, Monday night. I'll spray my hair with dry shampoo. Tuesday, most of the time, I don't have to touch it. I'm good all of Tuesday, and then we repeat again on Wednesday morning. If I forget to use my dry shampoo on Sunday night, which does happen, sometimes I'll get up in the morning, Monday morning, and before I do anything, I will spray my hair with dry shampoo again, just to kind of make sure before I get going about my day, I do use the dry shampoo as something that's going to clean my scalp. It really just depends. I am very forgetful the further into this pregnancy that I have gotten. So more often than not, I'm struggling, but most of the time, if you can at least just take it from the best recommendations and what works the best for me is Sunday night after I've spent all day with my fresh clean hair, I will spray my dry shampoo, it cleans my scalp, really make sure that no oil actually gets through. Monday morning, usually don't have to do anything. Monday night, I'll spray a little bit more in my hair. Tuesday, we're good to go. And then Wednesday morning, I wash, dry, style my hair and we repeat the whole process over again. Just to kind of reference with you guys, this is, so it's Saturday when I am filming this. I washed my hair Wednesday night, actually. So I washed it, dried it, I didn't style it, so I styled it Thursday morning when I woke up, and Thursday morning when I woke up, I sprayed it with dry shampoo immediately just because I hadn't styled it the night before. And today was the first day I had to put a little bit of dry shampoo, and I honestly just had to put it in the front part right here because I walked last night for a really, really long time trying to get back into like walking a lot so I can walk this baby out soon <laughs> and I did sweat a little bit so I did notice I just had some you know oily spots like right here and then dry shampoo got rid of it. Favorite dry shampoos 
I more or less have favorite brands. Um, first and foremost, IGK. This is the First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. I heard a lot of people talk about this one, so I finally decided to try it, and I love it. This one does make your hair a little bit more dry and textured than the Living Proof does. I feel like it also looks different when I use this dry shampoo. Um, if I'm using this dry shampoo, most of the time I don't have to use a texture spray, just because it does have that kind of like texture spray feel to it, uh, but I get a lot of volume with this one, which I really like. So IGK is a really good brand, but the number one product that I have here, let's see, Woo! just like across the board, favorite brand is Living Proof. So Living Proof has two dry shampoos now. They have, oh, that's the texture spray. So they have the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. This is one I used for so, so long. It is so, so good. But recently, last fall, I think, they came out with the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. Now, I do believe these are meant to be used together from what I've heard. I don't know if there's any truth to that. I believe this is more of a, so say you wash dry style your hair Sunday morning on Sunday night, this is the dry shampoo you're gonna use. And then any other time you're touching up, this is what you're gonna use. You can probably use them by themselves, it doesn't matter. But this one actually makes your hair shiny. This one makes your hair look brand freaking new. Like so clean and it makes it really, really soft too. So I do like to use these two together just because I do think that's when I get my absolute best of the best hair is using this like regular one first and then the advanced clean second. And full disclosure, I have all of my hair products sat to the side in where I get ready in a lazy Susan and I just grab whatever is closest. Like when I have multiple favorites like this, it more or less is just what I touch first. It's not like I, you know, really reach for one or the other, but if I do, you know, reach for this one on Sunday, most of the time I'll make a point to reach for this one, but if not, it's not a big deal. Like I'll grab this one. So really good dry shampoos are these three. Apart from that, I find that finding a good texture spray and hairspray um, that aren't greasy and have like a really bad formula is gonna also help keep your hair not just like looking cleaner longer, but styled longer. So you'll have to add less product, so you'll have to touch your hair less, so you won't have your hair looking as dirty. I really like this one the most. This is the Big Sexy Hair um, Hairspray. This is an OG fave. I've used this for a very long time. Hairsprays are one of those things that sometimes if I'll go to the store and they don't have this one, um, I won't like, you know, lose my mind about it. I'll be like, okay, I'll just buy what other, other hairspray you have. But I do find that this, out of all the hair sprays I've used throughout the history of time has the least um, like greasy formula. It still holds your hair, but your hair, you can like still mess with it if you want to. And it's not like sticky and gross. So we do really like this one. This one is also really good. And I got this one solely because my hairdresser, they have a ton of Moroccan oil products um, on display up at the front of their hair salon. And this is just the Moroccan oil luminous hairspray. It's the extra strong finish and it actually does a really good job at making your hair look very shiny and again not giving it that really like sticky consistency I don't like when my hair feels sticky after I put a product in it because then it just always feels dirty even if it doesn't look it just always feels like it's dirty texture sprays are a jam I love texture sprays way more than <laughs> hairsprays for sure and I feel like they just give your hair so much life so one that I've really liked for a while now is the Orbe dry texturizing spray this one's really good it smells really really good. Um, again, as far as texture sprays go, I do just kind of reach for whatever. I like reach over and if this is the first one that I grab, this is the first one I grab. Um, but lately I have been a little bit more purposeful with my reach and I have been using the Living Proof Full Dry Volume and Texture Spray. So they had the Full Dry Volume Blast. And I liked that one. Um, they also had another texture spray that I can't remember. That one, you like turned the dial up on how texturized you want your hair. It was extreme, like overwhelming extreme. I feel like this is a really good mix of the two. So it's gonna give you that volume in your hair, but it's not gonna like make your hair look or feel like it has a ton of product in it. And it is a texture spray. So I actually like this one because you can kind of reactivate it. You guys just see like just how I barely like kind of rubbed my hands in my hair, it like reactivates the product. So this is a newer product that they have released and one that I actually, when I bought it, I was like, I should go ahead and buy three bottles before I even try it. Cause I know it's going to be the bomb and it is the bomb. And then of course, heat protectant. So 
Heat protectants are very, very important, you guys. Just like sunscreen, just like skincare, use a heat protectant. Um, I've told the story many times of my hairdresser in high school. She was like, your, your hair is gonna fall off your head if you don't use a heat protectant. Like your hair is so damaged. And so an OG fave is the Chi 44 Iron Guard. I use this one and find that it works best on wet hair. And same with this one. This is the um, Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Heat UV Primer from Bumble and Bumble. This I do use when my hair is a little bit drier. Uh, pregnancy has given me some dry hair, but for the most part, pregnancy has blessed my hair beyond measure. Like I have had the best hair of my life being pregnant. Um, so when I do have those slightly drier times, I can feel it. I will definitely put this in there. But for the most part, this is what I use on my wet hair. Now, this is great for when I am in between my washes. Um, so my hair is dry it's styled, I can see that I have a couple pieces that need touching up. You need to spray another heat protectant on your hair because you gotta protect that hair if you're putting heat to it. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Heat Styling Spray. It has heat protection up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit and it is really good. It also smells really good and I think this actually does kind of work like a hairspray. So I'll spray it in the bottom part of my hair. I'll just kind of like spritz it like this and then I will restyle my hair. This is a really good heat protectant for that but it does, I Again, help your hair kind of hold that curl or whatever you do um, a lot more. And also for me, my hair looks oily uh, a lot sooner when it is straight versus when it's curly, which is why I curl my hair a lot. And then this is the newest product to my collection. This is the Way Heat Protection Spray. I have had this for four or five days. Um, I really like it so far. This can be used on your hair when it is towel dried and like damp right before you style it, or similar to this one where you can spray it on your hair before you restyle it. I talked a lot more in this video than I planned, so I'm gonna really quickly run through this. Another thing that I found that will kind of keep my hair less oily and I won't need to even touch it up with like curls as much is to sleep with my hair up at night. I know that is kind of a controversial thing. Some people don't like that people do that, but to each its own. I will either put my hair in a low pony. I will only wrap it around twice and I will use a silk scrunchie whether it is this one that is thin or a thicker one as long as it's a silk scrunchie I'll put it in a low ponytail wrap it around twice that helps kind of pre preserve those curls but lately I've also been loving clips I know a lot of people can't sleep on clips I'm not like a messy sleeper like for the most part especially pregnant you can lay two A's on your left side or your right side that's it you're not supposed to lay on your back for a long period of time. You can't lay on your stomach. So for me, most of the time it's the left side. I will take my hair, wrap it in a super loose bun, make sure my roots are like very, very loose. And then I'll just kind of clip the side of it in. And same thing when I pull my hair down in the morning, this is what it looks like. Usually sometimes I have to touch up like this section right here of curls. Cause you know, we all have to have that one section of hair that's stubborn. It's this one for me. Uh, but apart from that, I don't really need to do much touch-ups. Okay, I talked a lot more in this video than I thought I was going to. I am so sorry, but these are something that I just get a lot of questions about, so I wanted to make sure I was very thorough and covered all of your questions and the products that I love in this video. So make sure to go watch the video where I talk about like shampoos and conditioners and hair oils and hair masks and all that kind of stuff. And you can find that linked in the description bar or I did link it in the video for you guys. Uh, but this is more just like texture sprays and stuff like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go below and click the subscribe button if you are new here. Love you so much and I hope that I see you in my next video.